a multi-purpose application designed to help you trade more efficiently with better tools and better information. Setting it up To get started, simply drag and drop the mini terminal from the Expert Advisors list in MetaTrader 4 Navigator onto a chart. Make sure the Allow Live Trading and Allow DLL Imports boxes are checked and that Auto Trading is turned on. You are now ready to trade using the mini terminal. Multi screen trading. It is worth noting that the mini terminal turns MT4 into a multi screen trading environment. By selecting the blue settings icon and choosing Undock Chart, you can pop the chart out of the MT4, arrange on your desktop, and carry out trading having freed up screen space for portals that support your trading market analysis or rolling news feeds, for example. You can do the same just with the mini terminal itself. Multiple languages. The mini terminal operates in multiple international languages as standard and, if possible, will automatically display in the language used for your MT4. To change the mini terminal language once the MT4 is open, Simply select the language you want from the main MT4 View Languages menu and either restart the MT4 or remove and add back the mini terminal. Mini terminal currently supports these languages. If you would like a new language to be added, ask. Trading Calculators The mini terminal enables you to trade quickly and efficiently while helping you to control risk. You can use the boxes on the mini terminal to set lot size, stop loss, trailing stop and take profit. If you need help setting these values, you can open calculators by holding down the control key and clicking on a box. Here we are accessing the lots calculator. You enter the number of pips you want for a stop loss and how much cash you want to risk and the calculator will tell you what your lot size should be. In this case, with a 75 pip stop loss and 1% risk, the lot size is 0.66. One-click market orders. Once you have set your trading parameters, you can start to trade. You can place buy and sell orders using the buy and sell buttons. By default, after clicking on the Buy button, you will be asked to confirm the order. If you want to turn this feature off, go into the blue Settings icon, select Settings and untick the Confirm Quick Buy and Quick Sell Orders option. You will no longer be asked to confirm orders. Once the order is placed, you will see that the Lot Size, Stop Loss and Take Profit are automatically set and markers appear on the chart. The purple Take Profit and red Stop Loss markers can be dragged to any value you require. If you drag a marker to an invalid level, for example you drag a Stop Loss marker the other side of the current market price, you will be asked if you want to close the order. You can cancel a drag which is in progress by pressing the Escape key. The green Buy marker cannot be dragged because it is an open trade whose price cannot now be changed. If you hover the mouse over the markers, you will see that it gives key information. For example, the buy marker shows the ticket number, lot size, currency and whether you are making a profit or loss in terms of cash and pips. By clicking on the marker, you get a new screen showing additional information. If you click on the top right box, you can switch between seeing your cash and your pips position on that trade. The boxes change color according to the profit or loss position of the account. You can also use the screen to close the order or change its settings. In this example, we will change the stop loss from 100 to 75 pips. When you have placed a trade, the status indicator at the top of the mini terminal will show your current net position. For example, plus 0.10 if you are long 0.1 lots 
or minus 0.10 if you are short 0.1 lots. Two-click pending orders and templates. If you click on the yellow icon, you can set a variety of pending orders including limits and stops and one cancels the other OCO orders. Let's set an OCO as an example. From the drop-down menu, select OCO Breakout. These are the most popular form of OCO orders, which places a trade above and below the market, and whichever trade gets triggered first is taken and the other is automatically cancelled. You will see that some of the boxes are populated by the values we have already put on the mini terminal, 0.01 lots, 40 pips, stop loss, and so on. We enter the number of pips above and below the current market price we want to place the OCO trades. In this case, 20. Check we are OK with the other settings. We then save this as a template by giving it a name and clicking on Save. We then close the box. To place the pending order trade, we then hold down the control key, click on the yellow icon, and we can see the saved templates. We select the saved template and the OCO breakout trade is placed in two clicks. You can also create pending orders from the chart. If you hold down the control key while clicking on the chart, a small window will pop up, letting you create a pending order at the selected price. If the price you have selected is above the current price, then you can create a buy stop or a sell limit. If the selected price is below the current price, then you can create a buy limit or a sell stop. Pending order markers are shown in orange. Using MT4's cross hairs feature, accessed from the toolbar, will help to identify the exact price you are selecting. Order ladders. The order ladders at the edge of the chart give you another very graphical way of entering the market. The left ladder is for buy orders. The right ladder is for sell orders. As you move the mouse over the ladders, the software draws the corresponding entry price, either a limit or a stop, depending on whether the line is above or below the current market price. The simplest way of using the ladders is to click three times. The first click fixes your entry price, either a limit or a stop, above or below the current market price. The second click sets either your stop loss or your take profit. And the third click sets the other out of the stop loss and take profit and places the order into the market. You can also use a double click to end the order definition early. For example, you click once to fix your entry price. You then double click to set your stop loss. The order is placed immediately without needing a third click. The order only has a stop loss without a take profit. This also means that you can simply double click over the ladders to place an order with neither a stop loss nor a take profit. You can also use the ladders to place market orders instead of pending orders. If you hold down the shift key while you move the mouse, the entry price is set to the current ask or bid. You can then click once to set the stop loss and click a second time to set the take profit, after which your buy or sell is placed into the market. You can also combine this with a double click. For example, you hold down the shift key to place a market order. You then double click to set either your stop loss or take profit. The order is placed immediately with only a stop loss or only a take profit. Trade Management Controls and Hedging If we click on the status window at the top of the mini terminal, a new screen slides into place showing your current trade position in cash and in pips. The price underneath the profit in pips is the average entry price for the position if there is more than one open order. The panel also provides a selection of trade management options with various close or delete choices and the ability to reverse or to hedge orders immediately. 
The reverse function simply reverses the trade. For example, a long becomes a short, and the hedge function places an equivalent trade in the opposite direction whilst keeping the original trade open. By default, the mini terminal follows normal MT4 behavior and lets you have buy and sell orders open at the same time in the same market. Smart lines. These allow you to turn trend lines and timelines into part of your trading plan. For example, if we place a trend line at the lows and then hold down the Alt key and click on the line, the smart lines box pops up. As we have an active long position open, this trend line can now act as a stop loss. We choose the ticket, stop loss and save. The screen now shows what the smart line is programmed to do. We can do the same with a trend line coming down from the highs. In addition, if you want to place a time-based smart line like so, you can turn this into a pending order to close some or all of your trades when the price hits the timeline. Maxi mode. The mini terminal can also be switched into maxi mode using the expand button. The terminal is then docked to the edge of the chart, creating extra space for displaying further options and features. Each section can be expanded and contracted by clicking on its title. The settings button lets you hide sections completely from the list. The tools which you see in your own copy of the software may differ slightly from this video. Here are a few examples of features you will see in Maxi mode. You can use the volume buttons to quickly set the trading volume in the deal ticket. You can also change the list to reflect the trade sizes which you use regularly. The Maxi mode shows you an overview of your account and a list of open trades and orders. Clicking on the icon next to each item in this list gives you a pop-up menu where you can quickly control the trade, closing it, partially closing it, moving its stop loss and so forth. The Maxi mode also gives you easy control over the display of the chart. For example, you can change the style of the chart, switching between bar, candle and line. You can turn elements of the chart on and off, such as grid lines or volume. You can also add guides, such as the high and low of today's trading range, or turn on a display of pivot points. Please note some of the features of the mini terminal, such as smart lines, are processed by your trading software, not by your broker. The smart lines rules you create by drawing lines on a chart will only be applied while your trading software is running. Multiple charts. You can have as many mini terminals on as many different charts as you like. What you do on one chart will not affect the other charts as long as the charts are for different markets. If you do open the same chart more than once, dollar yen for example, what you do on one chart will have a direct effect on the other associated charts. As you will have seen, the multi-screen mini terminal is rich with features designed to help you trade more efficiently, with better tools and better information, in the language of your choice. For further information, please read the details. Thank you.